Hey guys, my name is Skylar. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. It's been about five months. Just the other day I did record a two hour and a half long painting video and then I got into like 90 minutes left of editing and um, it hasn't been edited yet. So, but it also does not have good lighting or a microphone, which we do have today. Today I'm going to be cooking a salmon pasta type of thing and I don't have the recipe anymore I don't know what happened to it but I also know I'm missing some ingredients but that's all okay because we're still gonna make a bomb I'm gonna pop up in a bottle of Bel Air my favorite champagne sadly I found out it's not vegan but I ate steak in the past two weeks though so I guess I'm not really vegan right now I do plan on going back so a vegan champagne line is in my future mark my words but today I'm going to be vaguely catching you guys up on why I've been gone for five months there's gonna be a lot of story times to come so don't expect me to give too many details away just yet but also I will let you guys know what's been up while I'm making the salmon pasta so with that being said let's get into the video I got hair on my wristband <laughs> so this is Bel Air the significance of drinking this <laughs> champagne for the video, we'll get into it later. But just know, there is a significance to having this bottle in the video. <sighs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Actually, this is not a full story time. So just know it's going to be a vague, vague explanation. Because we got a story time on this. This together is a whole story time in itself, so let's, let's actually not. Let's pop open the bottle. Here's the secret to opening champagne. You have to open it slowly, and then you have to cringe, and then you have to hold it on tight, and hold it so it don't like psh, explode. Cheers. So again today, we're going to be vaguely catching up about why I've been gone for five months, but we're also going to be cooking a salmon pasta. No, it's not vegan, and I feel very bad. I feel very bad that I've been eating fish. I've been eating dead cow. Glad to say I genuinely do not like dead bird anymore. And I don't even like sushi anymore. And I did go the full vegan for a while. We're just not there yet anymore, but we're going to go back. We don't believe in eating dead animals or drinking them, but we are for now. <coughs> also, I apologize for any noise you might hear in the background at any point, but um, we'll get into that because we're catching guys up. But anyways... There might be some noise. We'll get into that later. But you're here for me, right? So, I'm gonna slap some good non copyright back right, non copyright background, Drake, John Nyko, some bullshit on there, you know, so you guys should be able to chill. Now let's get into cooking the food. Someone on my live stream just asked me if I was done with my book. I got a lot more to add to my book. But sis has barely started. I'm gonna put my hair up first thing because, you know, we're not trying to get hair up in our food. So we're gonna plop a little ball into our heads like that and I don't remember all the instructions on the ingredients so I'm just gonna wing it and I already know I'm missing like two of them like the heavy cream <laughs> basically we're just winging this the ovens already been preheated for a fat minute 
So we gotta get this shit on the road. So I got some dead fish right here. Some dead salmon. Some seriously dead salmon. Some seriously dead meat. Some seriously dead innocent fish. Another, another one. Feeling like DJ Khaled, another dead innocent fish. Let's take a sip of non-vegan champagne to the, to the second dead innocent fish that we're about to cook tonight. I feel like the most hypocritical human being on earth. I'm cooking dead fish while judging people who eat dead fish while drinking champagne that has guts in it. We got the dead fish right here. I'm gonna like move the dead fish over. And drill with some olive oil. I don't remember the instructions, but I remember there's salt, pepper, and paprika. Thyme. I'm just gonna put all the seasonings right here that I throw on top of the salmon. Keep in mind, I've been drinking mojitos all day. Some black pepper up in that bitch. Massage it like you wish all your exes would have fucking massaged you. Maybe they would have been able to marry you. Some garlic powder. Massage her up. Don't worry, I wash my hands. Red pepper flakes. Take some paprika. I remember this is the main thing that the recipe called for. The recipe definitely did not call for fucking chili flakes, but don't mind if I do. Called for time, so here goes out to all the time I've lost this past year. Ooh. A lot of time, a lot of fucking time, a lot of fucking time. A lot of time. We gotta add a little bit of parsley. It's got the cap on this still. Now, I don't remember the recipe said to put all the seasonings on the salmon, but that's what I'm gonna do. I do know it said to put honey up in that bitch. The sip goes out to the CBD honey that I got from this dispensary that my ex threw away because he was being petty. That honey would have tasted bomb on the salmon. Also, some forward sight, some hindsight into um, <clears throat> why I've been MIA for five months. The one thing I know that the recipe did call for was honey. So I'm gonna put honey up in this bitch. You're making it crease like it's a fucking vagina. This is kind of creepy. But like it's already there and I think I said put it in the crease. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I put it all over too. But we really like, we fingering that bitch. <laughs> It's pride season. I had to finger somebody, am I right? So here we have it. We have the salmon with honey and a plethora of seasonings. And we're gonna throw that bitch in the oven at 425 degrees. And then, like I said, I don't remember the recipes, so we're just gonna drink some more Bel Air and like, let it come to us. So the one thing I do know that the recipe called for that I don't have is whipping cream, which is like the main thing for like the sauce. So uh, <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do there yet. We're gonna figure it out. I might look like a bald alien, but 
this bald alien and you guys, we're gonna figure it out together. I swear to God, this is what I get for like eating dead animals and like trying to promote it on my YouTube. Like I don't have any of the, <laughs> the items and you guys are lopsided. And you guys have been lopsided the whole time. Wow, would you look at that? Skylar's first YouTube video back and she's been lopsided the whole time. And she looks like a bald alien anyways. Is what it is. The sauce is not going to be what it should be. I don't know what's about to happen, but I'm basically like a little 23 year old midlife crisis fucking small child looking ass bitch. I think I'll figure it out. I just spilt Parmesan cheese all over the floor. Five second roll, but I'm going to sweep the rest up later. So I filled up a pot of water. I'll put it on the oven. I mean, on the stove. And I'm gonna put it on high. There was this noodle that I was supposed to get. I can't pronounce it. But it's like blah 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 blah. So instead today we're looking, we're looking for, no we found her. Today instead we're using Pennsylvania Dutch Hardy Home Style Egg Noodles. They're the thickest, fattest, widest, hipped noodle I could find on my Instagram feed. So. We got them, but there are better out there, allegedly. Throw some olive oil, some salt up into the pan before you cook your noodles, because you're Gordon Ramsay. I'm going to check on my salmon. I don't really know how to tell when salmon is done, because I don't cook salmon, really. Listen. I want you guys to understand how real the influencer slash YouTuber Whatever you want to call me, even though I know what I am, more than that. Whatever you want to call me, I want to let you know I believe in the five second rule. Drop the salmon. I don't know if it's cooked yet. There's someone who's ate sushi before. I'll be able to tell you if it's cooked, but it did drop them before. But here we go. Not bad. I think sis knows how to cook some pretty fire salmon. Wow. Regardless of if it came off of the floor or not, sis knows what she's doing. Now, she might have forgot the heavy cream, but I got faith in this meal now. We're waiting on the water to boil. The, the salmon looks fire as shit. The salmon is absolutely fucking fire. I hope I do not eat all of it out of the oven before it's fucking done. <sighs> this shit is so good. I did just burn my hand on top of the burn I already have on my arm, so this spot, the salmon better taste fire. I'm about to show you the burn on my hand. I burned my hand right here. This right here is not, no, I'm not a self-harmer. All my respect goes out to people who do. I used to in the past. This came from stealing Bel Air bottles. You don't fuck with Armenians and their Bel Air liquor stores who are ran by Armenians. They really don't play games. So I got pushed onto top of Bel Air, story time coming soon. Didn't have phone, and that's how I made my social media. So anyways, I stole bottles and sold them for a little while. That's part of the reason why I've been gone. Anyways, I just burnt myself right here. So, the other day, cooking cauliflower wings right here. I think it's time for another sip of our Bel Air. I feel like since I've been gone for five months, I should do less. I mean, I should do more than just like cook and not say much about what's happened. So basically, <laughs> I took back a person who um, was already showing a lot of red flags, who already put everything I owned in a dumpster, already shattered a phone a month into meeting them, who already pulled a gun on me. Mm -hmm. And um, basically I was stupid and I took them back and then Things escalated, they went to jail, and then um, 
I looked like a stupid bitch staying faithful while they was in jail and being a simp and then uh, they got out and everything was supposed to be perfect and things just really, really, really went crazy. They was cheating and then I tried to get with their sexy friend who <laughs> lived hours away and not try, they would have gone with me, whatever, that was a big thing. Anyways, uh, <laughs> five more phones could proceed to get broken over the past few months, and um, a lot of different crazy shit would happen, a lot of suitcases of clothing lost, literally almost everything I've owned, <laughs> um, and they've currently blocked every OnlyFans subscriber, putting me negative $100 in their debt, and they've beat me almost, like, every day of the past, like, uh, year, almost, not exactly, but, like... <laughs> Basically, I have to go to the doctor and get some, like, head injuries checked out because, um, there's some problems. And I don't have all my hearing. And there's some gr lumps that are growing on one side of my head that I've already had trauma to. And the more I get beat, the more the lumps grow and the more lumps start to form. So that's, a, that's, that's something to worry about. But anyways, I'm back with a phone. That relationship felt like a fucking drug addiction, but I'm done with it, and I will eventually share more story times on it, and, um, but I am genuine, genuinely, like, going through it myself right now, so I can't speak too much on it until I'm genuinely, like, through it, but, uh, my DMs are open for any girls that are going through anything similar, domestic violence case-wise, or just, yeah. Um, but we, we have a lot of videos to come. We have a lot of videos to catch up on, so I'm excited. And even though I'm not vegan right now, I'm, I'm happy that I get to cook this dead fish with you guys. I'm going to just poke my eye out with a dead fish fork. I'm going to show, like, an overview of the salmon, even though I've already dug into it. Listen, I honestly do not remember what the instructions told me to do with the garlic. I believe there's like a lot of instructions I'm missing, actually. I think I'm just going to crush up my garlic cloves. I would put them in the oven, but it's already too late. I already put the salmon up in there. I wish I could just slice up the person who fucked up my past year. Maybe I should not say that on the internet when I'm trying to finally press charges against the bitch ass. But he's starting to kill me and put me next to my dead mama, so. Girl, guys, boys, women, females, children, fucking Pinocchios, fucking ants, beetles, roaches. I got a lot to catch you guys up on. I have a lot to motherfucking catch you guys up on. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. No, I didn't slice nobody. But I wish I have. I wish I would have fucking have. This year's been a mess. What? It's been my mess. And I'm a bounce back from it. You guys might be scared I'm swinging a sharp purple knife, but it's kind of fun. I feel like a samurai. Is that what they're called? No, I don't know, but. Just know we're bouncing back. And I'm slicing up the garlic. That's the whole point of me getting the knife out. <laughs> Was me crushing the garlic. This is for later. This is lift for later too. And this is for later too. And I guess this dead, dead fish is for now because I'm a dead fish fanatic. I'm so sorry. 
when I go vegan, call me Skylar the fake vegan. The dead fish fanatic. I will claim the title now. Skyler the fake vegan. The fish fanatic. We have almost ate almost a salmon while wow. my noodles. I haven't even put my noodles in the pan yet. Do you stop being a fat whore? <laughs> cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. Maybe I had too many mojitos before this video. I don't know. But that salmon tastes fire, though, so you can't really judge me. And I gave a cup of champagne to my friend. So technically, I haven't drank the whole bottle yet. One of the pieces of fish I just swallowed like burned my throat because I was impatient. My water is boiling. We're gonna throw some olive oil up into the pan of boiling water. Boom. We're gonna throw some salt up into the pan of boiling water. We're supposed to have again bubble god noodles, but we couldn't find them, so instead we have Pennsylvania egg noodles. Boom. Throw all the bitches up in there. Like boom. Ba boom. Big ba boom. Listen guys, I'm already in like the middle of the video where I'm like halfway cooking. I kinda wanna go to bed. But, I know I can't because then the, the apartment would burn down and there'd be no food, so. We're all in this together. Everyone drink a champagne and shut the fuck up. Anyways, let me see what else I have to catch you guys up on. I mean, there's a lot of story times to come, but um, I've had six broken phones the past year, which is really fun considering I made my money through social media. And I had a lot of goals that involved social media that weren't even monetized yet that could have been monetized already by now. As I've always said, everything happens for a reason. God's timing is God's timing, so whatever he has for me that is meant for me will be for me. My fame and my riches are going to be there whenever I'm ready to, for them. And if I have to learn some very difficult, agonizing, painful lessons in the meantime, then so be it. But uh, we have a lot of story times coming. From having broken phones to uh, <sighs> losing all my fucking items on several different occasions, ultimately ending up with no items, doing meth for four days, not my proudest moment. That's how my mama died. <sighs> and, um, but basically, letting myself get beat for a year of my life. There's been a lot stealing bottles, like I said. <laughs> Armenians don't play. I have a lot of story times I'm going to catch you guys up on in the time. Ah! Within time, I meant to say. But right now we're cooking some fucking lobster pasta. Not lobster pasta. We're cooking some salmon pasta. And... We're drinking champagnes after a day of mojitos, so we'll catch each other up eventually. But until now, at least you, you see my face and you know I'm alive. That's not really a funny joke, though, considering some of my friends were sending in pictures of my face <laughs> from YouTube to FBI agents, trying to m compare my teeth to dead people, making sure that... Uh, I wasn't a dead person. <laughs> uh, anyways. 
I'm alive. So regardless of if this is video is vague, if if I burn myself, if the pasta does not turn out as planned, at least you get to see me again and you know I'm alive. Right in time before Leo season. Be an agonizing shame for me to miss out on two birthdays in a row because of the same motherfucker. Now would it? Listen, so my noodles are done. We're gonna drain them. Okay, so now we got the noodles. Oh! Oh! Wow! I'm a fucking mess. I don't even care how the original recipe said to make it because I'm already tired of this shit! Wow, I just threw shit on the ground. I, got, I should probably go pick it up. Then I'm tired of this shit. I should have cooked the broccoli, I mean, I should have cooked the garlic in the oven with the salmon so it'd be like squishy by now and I didn't. Crush up the garlic, like, you know, ing it, ing it. I just chewed on the piece and it's like burning my mouth, but um, I just crushed up this nice garlic. I don't care that it's not like cooked yet because I'm lazy. This is not how you're supposed to cook. I would never not cook my garlic sober. But like I'm back. Hi guys. And we're gonna hope that the garlic like you know like my fork just dropped on the ground. We're gonna hope like the garlic like you know dissolves or some shit. And then we're gonna get some butter. Again I'm not a chef. We're gonna take the fork off the ground and because we're a couple mojitos in we're gonna just you know Good to go. Crack open the butter. We're gonna eat a whole gall off of it. I'm just playing. No. Can you imagine? That'd be disgusting. But anyways, we're gonna like cut some of it with our fancy purple knife. <laughs> we're gonna drop the fork again. Roll it around in our pasta. Tastes like burnt butter so far. Oh yeah. I'll take some cow, dead cow titty juice. You know, I'm not supportive of using cow titty juice, but you know. Heavy cream was also supposed to be cow titty juice. So either way, the Parmesan I'm using is about to disgust me regardless. Because not only are we going from cow titty juice, we're about to go to aged cow titty juice. Yay. It is what it is though, at least. This shit tastes good. But, do I support it? Biggest hypocrite I know. I'm hypocritical towards my own stuff. Now we're gonna take a bunch of Parmesan. I said, I think it said like one fourth cups, but like we haven't been following the recipe. So I'm just gonna pour it up in there. Dry milk titty juice. Cow titty dead juice. Yeah. This shit really seem like macaroni and cheese right now. Uh huh. Ah! I burned myself. This shit literally though, like some like fancy macaroni, I feel like, you know? I totally forgot. We were supposed to put the lemon on the salmon before we cooked it with the honey. I got lemon juice. A bitter pasta. Some more parsley and thyme. And again, like I said before, here goes to um, all the time we laced. We laced. <laughs> Another story time. All the time we wasted on a bitch ass boy this year. That fucked with our goals and our aspirations and our dreams. We gonna, oh, we gonna sprinkle this bitch with our time. 
all the time lost. Now we're gonna shred up all the salmon and put it into our spaghetti. We got a piece of ash in my mouth, but the salmon's bomb. Wow. Literally don't mean for that shit on purpose, but this is the uh, pasta we made. I swear, oh, I swear it looks better. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna input a video of it like close up. I swear it looks better than this. But either way, this shit bomb is shit. You know you had tuna pasta before. This is the shit like tuna pasta, but gourmet. I'm gonna edit this in before my buy, but I forgot. Cheers. Thank you, Belair, for this bomb ass champagne. I appreciate it. The blue one's the best. Oh, the blue one's really the best, but. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know that the angle was fucked up most of the way, and um, I didn't follow no recipe. And. That I barely explain why I've been gone, but thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you reached the end of the video. Please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe because it really does mean the world to me. And turn on post notifications if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video. Anyways, I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.